So recently I made a post on my community tab that I was coming back to iRacing. Now I've had a lot of things going on. I got all installed, got ready to run, and my Fanatec wheelbase wasn't recognized. After a lot of digging and troubleshooting, I finally figured out that it was the drivers and firmware that was causing my problems. So I started the update process. And oh, what a process it was. I'll take you through it. Come on, let's go. All right, so the last driver update that I had on my wheelbase was 404. And that was some time ago. Scroll down the list here. And it doesn't even exist anymore. Way back when. There's been several updates since then. So I jumped in thinking, yeah, you just download the latest update. Install it. It'll be good to go. Oh, how wrong I was. Because I ended up with a wheel not detected after the update. So I started my search, and you can see it was quite an extensive search going through my history here of Fanatec searches. Search, 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 search. Downloaded several PDF files, thinking those would help. And I finally did find one that was helpful. This is it. Gives you the instructions on base not recognized, mismatch between the motor and base firmware, and so I started started going back with this. Talks about down downgrading. Upgrading, downgrading. I'll post a link to this in the uh, comments below. So that took me back to here. And then I started downloading files that I needed. It was a trial and error. This is what I ended up with. I had to, I started at 404. I had to go back to 336. And then 402, 415, 439, and each time following that process of install, update, download, update, uninstall, reinstall the next one, up until I got back up to 457, which is where it is now, and it works. I want to talk real quick about why I selected these particular driver updates. If we open up one of these and go to the change log, you see here on the motor version 40, the uh, base was version 684 on this one. That's what I had. I had version 40. I had 682, I believe, was the uh, base. We come down to the next one. See it updates. The motor stayed the same. The base updated. And it worked that way through each of these. There was some update. Base updated and the motor updated on this one together. And that each of those steps up until you get the change log on the latest 457, which has the base and motor as you see here. So there you have it, updating the drivers and firmware for your Fanatec equipment in less than five minutes. If you like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, click the bell to be notified of new content, and as always, thanks for watching.